Thank you so much. I just want to give you sort of a reminder of something, and we're going to do the teaching down below. And it's about the book of Revelation, by the way, which is kind of cool. This grave that's here is, you know, somebody says we found the grave of an apostle and we have the head of John the Baptist or something like that. And you, you roll your eyes, right? Because you know that Christian relics are often mythological, even though they represent something that in fact was absolutely true. But what popped up a few years ago in Biblical Archaeology Review, which is not uh, a Christian magazine by any stretch, it's a secular magazine at the very least, was the archaeologists who worked on this produced their paper and it was published in that magazine. It was published in Archaeology magazine. And they think this is highly probable that this is where the actual Apostle Philip was buried, which is why we're here. It's somewhat of a relic to us if you look at it, but it is, uh, it's one of those places where we'd say, well, yeah, it's a traditional site, but it has tremendous merit to it. Otherwise, we wouldn't even bother coming up here. So I'm going to have something more to say about that octagonal church or octagonal things uh, when we get to Ephesus, even though we won't be at an octagon per se, but uh, it's going to tie in with what you just heard, what eight means. Uh, DeLake was spot on in what she was saying, and there's a whole lot more to it even than that. But all I wanted to remind you of is who this Philip was. As pastors, we teach the Bible, but sometimes we do get a few things that fade to the back of our memories. This is not Philip the Evangelist. You know, Philip the Evangelist who gets run out of Jerusalem, who goes to Samaria, who encounters Simon the Sorcerer, who meets the Ethiopian eunuch, who is transferred to Azotus, sort of in a sideways rapture, and ends up in Caesarea. That's a different guy. This is Philip the Apostle, and you find most about him in the Gospel of John. And all I want to do is remind you who this guy is that was very likely buried in that tomb. This is the guy that brought Nathaniel to Jesus. This is the guy to whom Nathaniel said, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? And this is the same Philip who said, Come and see. And this is after Jesus called him to follow. Uh, I like Philip because he was a skeptic. You really, you know, what we have, little information we have about him, he was a skeptic. I'm a skeptic. It takes a lot to prove things to me, which is why, one of the reasons why I really like coming to places like this, because I want to see where it happened. And if it didn't happen here, then take me to some place where it did, or as close as you can get. But of course, Philip, you know, Jesus says to Philip, go get some bread. Here's all these people right before the feeding of the 5,000 at the end of the day. And he's incredulous. You know, where are we going to get bread? Look at all these people to take 200 in an area or more. And besides, the hint is here that the bakeries are closed anyway. It's at the end of the day. And that precipitates Jesus basically saying, all right, Philip, here's the lesson. Watch me. And then you know what happens next. Well, this is the same Philip. This is the same Philip who, after Jesus says and does some astonishing things, and he says, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me, for in my Father's house are many, literally bridal chambers. If it were not so, I would have told you. And I go there to prepare a place for you. And if I go there to prepare a place for you, I will come to take you to be with me where I am. You know the place where I am going. Just an amazing passage of scripture full of meat. And then Philip, of course, steps up and says, yeah, right. Oh, I added that part. Okay, I'm not supposed to do that. But just show us the Father. That'll be enough. And he's the one that precipitated, in my mind, probably the greatest, most revealing statement in the Bible where Jesus says, Don't you know me, Philip? If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. This is that Philip. It gives me goosebumps. And that's all I wanted to tell you so you can take your pictures and enjoy the moment. You can <laughs> what an amazing place.